it's Adrian Lee and today I'm creating a video on how to clean your Elevation Training Mask 2.0. So I've been receiving a lot of requests on how to clean the mask and there are actually two ways. The first way is just for a quick clean where like you've just been using it for a few minutes, you don't want it to be dirty afterwards, so you can just wipe it down really quick. And there's also a way where you can take the whole mask apart and just clean it easily from there. So I'll be demonstrating both. There are two ways of cleaning the mask. The first and most simple way is just wiping it down with water. So just tissue, wet towel, whatever. And basically all you do is just take the mask, just wipe the inside. Yes, the mask can get wet. A lot of people have been asking me that too. So wipe the inside, wipe the outside, anywhere that's been in contact with your face. So I recommend um, doing this after every time you use the mask and the actual taking it apart cleaning process um, probably once a week if, depending on how often you use it but definitely after half an hour and an hour of straight use of intensive use where you sweat a lot into it. And yes, not wearing a shirt is part of cleaning the mask. Okay, so this is how you clean the mask and the more difficult, open it up. Um, completely open and full clean method. So first thing you do basically is take off the sleeve over here. I'm trying to do it this one handed. Okay, hold on a sec. So it easily just comes off the sleeve. The sleeve itself, you can just dump in hot water and put it up to dry. It cleans very easy. I have the Darth Vader sleeve on, it looks really cool and it's fun. But back to the point. Now, you have this mask and you see the nubs over there. It's actually very easily detachable, all of them, but I recommend putting it down in an order where you can um, remember which nub goes where. So, remember how you had it set up before you take it off and place it in an order. Usually I go right, middle, and left with the nubs so that it's easy to remember where is where. So I'm gonna take it apart. So very simple, take the mask, I can even do this one-handed, that's how simple it is, but I'm gonna put down my camera just to demonstrate this easily. So you take the mask, this is the right nub. All you do is just put your nails under, put it up. See, right here. Take easy to take it apart. Now, remember on my towel, right. Take out the middle, the little breathing thing, put it on top of the right. Now, middle is always easy to remember because it's different from others. So middle goes in the middle, this thing again, middle, and left, left. So here's what it looks like, and put it there. So there's the right part of the mask, middle and left. All right, so clean the mask itself. Very simple, you take the whole damn thing and run it under the tap. Yeah, you can wipe it, but I find this way more effective in cleaning because it goes to every corner. So you see, like, just run it generously under the tap. And yes, it's waterproof. Run it generously. That should be good. Next, remembering the positioning. Take each piece individually and run it under the tap. Do it under light water so it doesn't get blasted out of your hand. So this one, just run it. Put it on the drying towel, same thing. You don't have to do it for too much because it's pretty clean once you wipe it. So repeat process of all six. Just remember the positioning. And the last one. All right, so the next step is drying your mask. Very simple. All you do, well, okay, fine, I don't even have to teach this. Just wipe it. I didn't have to teach that part. So just shake it dry, just wipe it, shake out all the water. And that's the easy part. The harder part is reassembling your mask. I hope you remembered to take note of how your mask was constructed beforehand. So all you do, take the, take the breather thing on the right side put it back exactly how you had it before. So in my case, I had it at the highest setting, 18,000 feet. So the right one, it's, um, the, this, this part goes on top. So it allows a little bit more airflow. So dry it out, dry it out, and then reinsert the nub on. Make sure the nub goes in the little, 
in the hole. It should just click on and you know it's on firm. So dry it up. For the middle one, this one, this part goes in the inner part so it seals up the air. Shake this dry. Middle part goes on. Hole. Hole. Nub in the hole. And the left. Also sealed because I'm at it at the highest. And over here is sealed. So now you have your whole mask reconstructed. Very simply, all you need now is just to reattach it. And it's ready for use. Get back on. All right, so the thing is, like I said before, after brief use, like less than five, 10 minutes or so, just wipe it down, that's good enough. And do this wash thing once a week, but again, if you've been training outdoors, like it's super hot in Hong Kong right now, probably like 80s or 90s. Um, just, and you sweat a lot in it, you definitely want to clean it up. You don't want, or if you were sick, you definitely want to clean that up. Hope this helps and come watch my second review of this mask um, soon, which will be coming out very soon. It's just a review that I'm making after using this for two years and I can say definitely worth the investment, but more details to that later.